Welcome, this is Zangler, the Tesla Semi Advocate, bringing you another exciting installment of the Giga Semi Semi <laughs> High Volume Factory Assembly Construction. And basically, as you probably know, we're now in the fitting out of the assembly line on the inside. Most of the exterior work is done. And it's a beautiful, clear, crisp, Northern Nevada day. You can see GF1, the original Giga factory in the background, busy doing the important work, if not sexy, but very important work of producing 2170 batteries and um, by Panasonic and then putting them into battery packs for use in Model 3s and Model Ys over at um, Fremont. And the Tesla semis themselves do much of that delivery. So we just came down the uh, northern side of the factory and we're now going down the west side. And I thought we'd take a nice close look at um, the chillers. And notice that the, um, the pipes leading to these different coolers and chillers are different sized. And I believe much of that activity there with those fiberglass tanks is somewhat new. You may know that I'm of the impression or wild speculation that those might be involved in the fiberglass work to create the fairings. And as you know, there's a tall fairing for the normal full-size trailer that the semi hauls, and there's a short fairing for use with flatbeds and other lower loads. Um, to match the aerodynamics of the tractor trailer, of the tractor with the trailer. And these are um, POSs. They're um, known in the business as piles of stuff, not point of sale or another POS that you may be familiar with. But these are piles of stuff. Many of these piles of stuff are things going in and then a good number of piles of stuff are the spoils the shipping crates and um, delivery products that are being brought out in the bottom center is another pile of stuff looks like electrical conduit this is the section G the tallest and for me, the most exciting section of the Tesla Semi Factory. And this is what we're going to focus a little bit of our attention and discussion and speculation on today. This circular um, area was uh, recently noticed by me, and I'm not sure how long it's been there, but um, it does it does look like a helipad, and that might be what it is, and they. But the question is, what is this bizarre equipment? Almost looks like a um, autoclave or um, something like that. And if you have any idea what this is, we'd love to hear from you. Um, I think there was no markings, and we'll see better on it when we get a close-up that said CL150. But um, to me, the biggest question is, is that just being stored here or is that actually something that will be assembled in this circular area if you notice as you you can drive into that area and it's sort of a little um a little uh cornucopia or a little uh fibonacci shell that right there on the bottom is a security trailer and those do communicate and send video back to uh, Tesla security. But still, what is all this? And is it just stored here to keep it out of the way? Will it be moved before it's assembled? What do you think? Love to hear from you, especially if you have some knowledge of what this could be. I am so sorry. I will eliminate any future dinging. So yeah, what's going on here? And I do when we get when we get later into the video, there is there is a spot where they're doing some form work 
that maybe this that's where this is going to go. It's pretty tall if that if that stands up on its end. It would be a pretty tall piece of uh, equipment. And here's where I think I could see CL150 um, marking on it. Anyways, as you in the in the Nevada in the um, high desert of Nevada, when it snows, when the sun comes out, it melts quickly at 4,000 average altitude. But where there's shade, the snow persists. So this has been there since the uh, the snow has been there as long as the equipment's been there, or that or that snow would have melted by now. And here is the big dog Tesla Semi. Haven't really given it much love lately, um, but it is a um, impressive piece of machinery and it's standing guard over the uh, Tesla factory that will produce 50,000 of its brethren a year. And you notice this has the super single tires in back and I'm guessing that there's no batteries in this. That there's, uh, for some reason or another, this, this uh, semi has been cannibalized or whatever and is just left here guarding the fort. But we did get a nice close-up of it. It's a good view at the... Uh, the OG Tesla Semi, now that we have the refreshed codename Atlas Tesla Semi that we saw out at the Chargers not too long ago. So time will tell what that turns out to be. If I were, if I were a betting man, I would bet that it is a, a helipad. There's the gantry crane still there. I am still strongly of the opinion that there's another stamping press to be delivered for the east side of the stamping building. We're going to take a look inside that door. Not that door, but the door where I think the, the um, stamping press will go. But on this fly around, just every now and then, I'm going to zoom in and see if there's anything interesting. Proceeding down the southern perimeter of the building, that's the door where inside that door is where I believe the final stamping press will be, will be placed. If you look back, if you're at all curious and you haven't been following along, or even if you just want to remind yourself what an operation it was, it was all the way a year ago that they started digging the pit, the pits for these multiple stamping presses. Pretty fun video. Now we're looking at the main entrance. And the, the Robovan has been in the news, and I still think that there's a case to be made that um, this is a uh, one of those Tesla tells that they really are planning on making the Robovan here alongside the Tesla Semi. There's a lot of reasons that make sense. It's a larger vehicle, low volume, um, so time will tell. You can see on the roof, there are all of the uh, paint vents that sort of inform us where the paint line will be. All of this equipment has been um, stored here in crates and um, Major progress has been made moving many of these um, assembly line related pieces of equipment in. And those are probably just the, uh, that's probably what's underneath those cases or that um, wooden crate wrapping. The, the robots and other pieces of automated equipment are probably delivered on those frames. And then once they install it, they put them outside. And major progress has been made, but there's still a lot to be done with all of this equipment.
I still think that second, the t tail end of the second quarter is when we'll see the first prototype or um, production semi come off the line, you know, very low, low volume at first as they calibrate the uh, equipment. Just like any other, just like any other factory um, ramp, only bigger, bigger vehicles, bigger parts. I imagine when we do get a look on the inside, bigger robots, bigger assembly lines. Still love to know, figure out what that's going to be for. I don't believe that heavy equipment will, that, that equipment we saw will go here. Although I just have, I have a handful of reasons why I don't think so. I think, I think it'll more likely go up here and in that area that they've been pouring a foundation for. And hopefully we get a good look at it right there to the left of these superchargers or mega chargers right there. That foundation work is my best guess as to what's going there. You can see the little pads, uh, elevated pads above the base foundation. Just perhaps that's where that will go. Still don't know what it does, but certainly something pressurized, I would guess. And here's a here's a tell, or here's a here's an interesting development. Another cap Tesla cabinet. The one in front has always been there, but there's the another one in the back, to the left, slightly behind it, and slightly to the left. And what's surprising to me is I thought the new ver version four cabinets could support eight. Um, charger stalls, but that might not be true for for the mega charger. They probably don't want to split the power between eight chargers like they could at a supercharger with an occasional higher drawing uh, vehicle. Since all of this will be reserved for the semis, they might be cutting that. They might be reconfiguring it and having one cabinet per four megacharger. Time will tell. But certainly that is a new one. And that does not say no a-hole. That is the, the A, what looks like an A is the universal caution sign for holes. Still looks to me like there's two more um, mega charger stalls to be installed there to make a total of eight. And then a whole other platform, which conceivably could support an expansion of those mega chargers but I did not see him lay the groundwork. Here's where I think those that tank and equipment over at the helipad looking place might be going. We'll finish up with a little uh, finishing up the circumnavigation and um, let me know if you spot, spotted anything interesting. It seems like every single video there's a few little hidden nuggets that um, viewers point out, and um, I always appreciate all of the um, feedback we can get. It takes a village to try to decipher the clues from the Tesla Semi Factory. Thank you.